Bella's worried about you. She's like, what, what, why is Houston crying? I don't know why Houston's crying. Don't get behind me. me don't get behind me. You want me to get up here? Yeah, I do. Emma, come on. We got to wait on her? Yeah, she's coming. Okay. Hey. Hey. Nice hoodie. I like it. Thanks. All right, Houston, do we have your permission to start? Yes, Emma, do you want to start? Start. So guys, before we get to the video, go down there, subscribe, the notification bell, and like this video. So today... You didn't we, even say like an intro. You didn't even say like, hey, what's up guys, okay, or anything. So what's up guys? Hang, hang on. This is, this is just starting off all Bella. wrong. Bella, chill sis. We gotta get this thing started so we can actually do something, Houston. Okay, so what's up guys? We're back with another video. And before we get to the video, go down there, subscribe. Uh, you've yeah. already said all that stuff. So, what are we gonna do today, we man? Might, we're actually going to do we a gotta catch go, we, we, Hey, wait a minute. We gotta go check what first? What are we gonna go check? We're going to check the raccoon traps. We're gonna go check our traps. And if... If we have a raccoon in a trap. Of course we're going to have one in the live one. So what are we going to do if we catch a raccoon today? We are going to catch, clean it, and cook. You ever ate a raccoon? No. Me neither. I have never eaten a raccoon. Houston is dying to cook a raccoon. He's been wearing me out. He said, we're catching them. We might as well cook one and eat it, right? So yeah. hopefully we will have a raccoon in a trap in a few minutes. But first... We're gonna go feed the animals. Go check out the goats, check on the mamas. The does, you know, as you guys know, are getting very, very oh, large no. bellies guys, on guys, them. Can I tell y'all something? It, today is the first day of 2020, so happy new year to all of y'all watching this video. Hey, good job, thanks bro. Yeah. I almost forgot, happy new year. But the does, our does are getting really very large. Oh yeah. Pregnant. But you just got what? something else. We still have, we have two months for babies to be here. No, we don't. We have like a couple weeks. Yeah. And he didn't know what he was talking about that time. So no, let's go check on the does because they are very heavy pregnant and uh, very hungry. Fill her up. That's good, cut her off. All right, you can carry it out there? No, you are. Oh man. Hey, bear, what's up, buddy? Hey, girls. Who's hungry? Hmm? Hey, bear, you're hitting her in the face with your tail, son. Huh? No babies yet? Any babies yet? No babies yet. But, if bear will quit hitting her with his tail, as you can see, we're starting to show signs of udders filling up. Some of these does are starting to get a little milk. Bet you this one is too right here, Houston. Oh yeah. Yeah. Hey, it won't be long we'll have baby goats soon. Yep. Hey, Big Mac's not in his usual spot. He's down there. Yep. Hope he's feeling all right. Yep. You gonna let me in? No. You doing all right today, Big Mac? How's the three amigos? Or the three stooges? Or not amigos. Whatever we're gonna call them. The three stooges? Yeah. Okay. Rufus is hiding in the barn. Look how muddy it is right in front of the barn. It hasn't rained in days. It's not muddy anywhere else. Don't say But days. somebody... Likes to stand in the mud hole. Is it what? you? No, it's him. Oh, it is. Be that way. That's all. You don't want to go past the mud. You don't like the mud. What's up, Big Mac? Here comes Rufus. Y'all don't let him be the bully now. 
old skinny donkey poodle. He'll run you all off your feet if you don't watch him. Well, look at that. The three stooges. Lined up together. All lined up. Usually they all want to fight over one, don't they, Houston? Yeah. Hold on, we gotta give Bear some loving. <gasps> Jeez, Bear. Well, I'm his owner. <laughs> you scared her. Hey, dude. What? Uh, there's a girl on your four wheeler. Yeah, it's my sister. Gemma. You're okay with that? Yeah. All right, chores are done. It's time to go check the traps. Houston? What? Any guesses? How many do you think we caught? Two. You think we have two raccoons? Yeah. I'm going to say we have one raccoon and a possum. Possum. Yeah, I bet we caught a possum last night. Just my guess. Hey, if we catch a possum, we can also do a possum catching cook. Well, I don't know if I'm brave enough to eat a possum. <laughs> Possums supposedly eat a lot of ticks, so I don't really, really plan on eating one of those, but who knows? We might do it for the sake of YouTube, right? Nothing in that trap. 0 for 1 so far, Houston. Yep. Tell your sister to get out of the way. Well, 0 for 2. But something has definitely been here. No doubt. The trap's been moved around. They just didn't set. Well, you can't see down in there very well. So the theory with these dog proof traps, as I've said before, is the raccoon has to reach down in there and then pull up on that trip lever. And they're pretty good at stealing your bait. But several of you commented, um, oh, a, a trick. And the first one that mentioned something was actually um, a North Carolina state trooper that follows us. He's a trooper in another state, Houston, in North Carolina. Mm. Yeah. So, anyways, they said to take a marshmallow, and these are kind of big, but to force it under that trip lever or push it around it inside there so that the raccoon has to really work at getting that marshmallow off. So, uh, we're going to try that theory out. Push it around that little trip lever in there and then we're going to push that in on it just like that so now the raccoon in order to pull that up has to grab all the marshmallow and pull it up and when he does hopefully he sets off the trap and we're going to set this on just a as, as light of a hair trigger as we can just barely put it on that trip lever Push it down in the ground. So there's the strategy. Now he's got to dig that marshmallow out of there and we'll put more dog food around the ground here. Houston? What? We're 0 for 2 so far. Yep. There's one up here by the live one. No. no. What the heck, dude? What's the problem? I'm getting upset. We should have done it another day. Should have done it another day, huh? I don't see one over there. <laughs> we don't have any more set. We got one at the pond still. And I bet you there's not going to be one. Why? I bet you there isn't going to be one. Why do you bet that? I just bet that. Well, 
nothing there but i think i figured out our problem houston so we've caught two raccoons out of this trap so far we only showed them one but we've caught two and it's worked great but right now our our trap isn't working and i'm guessing the problem is all this dirt got stuck under there them raccoons get in there and they get to pushing dirt everywhere and the locking mechanism wouldn't drop when you push down on the pan. So we probably had coons in there eating at night. We just didn't catch them. We had a pet raccoon. I would name it Pepper. You think it'll work this time? No. It's hard to catch a raccoon when the door won't fall. Our old crusty, rusty trap here. Yeah. Just needed a little tuning. Our latch mechanism's a little rusty. Let's try it one more time here. Ah. Okay. Let's rebait it. Will you get rid of that bucket? Nothing here either, Bella. All our bait, our dog food, well, you can't see it on camera, but it's still got dog food in there. Still lots of dog food on the ground. Hmm. I say we put another marshmallow in there and let it set for a couple more days. Well, that one doesn't have a marshmallow in it. I say we put a marshmallow in this one. Sorry, sir. Thank you for correcting me. Well, Houston, if we're going to do a catch, clean, and cook, we've got one chance left. Why do you look so mad? I'm not. I'm mad. You're not? You are? You Are I you? I am mad. Why? Because I know we're not going to get one at the pond. We haven't yet, and I know we're not going to. Well, apparently we should have done a catch, clean, cook the other day. We just didn't have yeah. time. And we have time today, so we were gonna do a catch, clean, and cook on a raccoon today. We still have hope. There's one more trap. We might get lucky. I don't have hope. Emma! So we're stopping the road, girl. No, I told you. I told you. I told y'all. I told you, there's nothing there. Gosh, so much anger, such a little guy. But is there food in there? Cheer up, buddy. It's all right. Houston is like nine kinds of disappointed in me right now. He was dead set on doing a raccoon catch, clean and cook video today because we've gone two for two the last two times. No, two for four or five or how many traps we got. Anyways, we caught two raccoons the last two times. Then we went and checked our traps, huh? Come here. Come here. Barrel love on you. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Get over here. Don't cry. It's all right. Hey, Houston, what's the matter? There's nothing to cry about. Why are you upset? Because you just knew we'd catch a raccoon? Yeah. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Stand up and look at me. It's okay. Don't cry. We got lots of time left. We can catch one and cook it, okay? Don't be so upset. You're not letting everybody down. They're not going to be mad at you for not catching one. Is that what you're worried about? What are you worried about? You wanted to catch one and cook, cook it and clean it? Clean it and cook it? Mm -hmm. Bella's worried about you. She's like, what, what, why is Houston crying? I don't know why Houston's crying. Your day will come. 
You'll have a day to eat a raccoon, buddy. I promise. <sighs> so sad. So we have got this a fire, and we might shoot my new BB gun and my slingshot while the fire's going. Does that fire make you feel better? Yeah. Fire makes me feel better. I know that. Hey. You, you think you can get all that wood split for me? Oh, heck no. Heck no. Where's your brother when we need him? I don't know. I can't even. I can't even get that axe to go halfway through it. <laughs> Better watch out. You're gonna burn your hood off, boy. Move, Bella. <laughs> Is it all about the strength in it? It's all about the weight, momentum. That's why this thing's so heavy. What's minimum? Momentum? It's when something's going really fast and it's heavy. That's why I make a big swing. Watch. So I take it way back here and I go all the way over. Because this is heavy and the weight of it's what causes it to split. See there? So it's pretty much just gravity helping me. Yep. It's just gravity helping me. I like to get it warm, not on fire. What you making? A s'more. A s'more? Oh no. Yeah, oh okay. no. It's okay. You, you might have got your marshmallow hot instead of warm. I'm trying to get it kind of hot. This. There you go. Let's try this. Mmm. When you have a fire, make sure you <laughs> when you have a fire. <laughs> As I was saying, when you have a fire, make sure to make yourself a s'more. It's delicious. And you have to do it before dinner, right? Mm-hmm. It's always better if you eat it before dinner. Mm-hmm. Okay. Just don't tell mom, right? Mm-hmm. So we're just kind of chilling this evening. I've been splitting a little bit of firewood, watching the kids sit out here by the fire and making s'mores and all that stuff. Just, just hanging out, enjoying their Christmas break. Haven't gone back to school yet, but just sitting over here splitting wood, just kind of reflecting on 2019 and, and how far we've come as a family and how far we've come as a YouTube channel. Started off the year in 2019 at like 30 something, maybe 40,000 subscribers in early 2019. Is the smoke getting you, buddy? Yeah. Y'all gonna make it? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we finished up the year at like 207,000. And in YouTube has has changed so many things for our family's life. It's, it's, it's become its own business. Uh, I still have my career. I still work full time. But just to be brutally honest with you, I made double the amount of money on YouTube that I did in my career after almost 14 years as a state trooper. It's just mind-blowing the possibilities out there on YouTube and I thank you guys for that so much because it's because of your views and you subscribing and sharing our videos and all that stuff. It's It has 100% completely changed our life in 2019 and uh, our success is, has been just amazing and I appreciate that and I thank you for that. But I was kind of sitting there thinking about other other channels and other creators and I was talking to uh, Mike from Outdoors with the Morgans this morning and uh, his channel's on fire. He's had over a million views 
in the last two days. He posted a video just a couple days ago um, of their wood miser sawmill and it's literally just Mike showing how that process works. He's just cutting boards out of a log and that thing has like 600,000 views and and Mike was saying the same thing. It's just YouTube in 2019 completely changed their family's life in so many good ways and it's just awesome because Mike and I, Mike started a little after I did but he was a little slower growing but man his channel has, has just blown up. It's just been on fire in 2019 and uh, 2019 was a year for the record books for us. It's just it blows my mind. It's incredible. And uh, I, you guys know I love seeing other channels succeed. I love helping other channels. I love watching them grow. And somebody like somebody that comes to mind is uh, Jason Crocker from the Crockers. And I don't know if you guys have watched him much lately, but our buddy Dutch from Keeping It Dutch and one of his friends gave Jason some land in Northeast Oklahoma for zero dollars. They signed it over to Jason and he's moved out there on that piece of land is living in a tent and is going to build a house from scratch all on his own and uh i really hope the best for jason his views have jumped since he started posting those videos um, it's kind of an off-grid lifestyle kind of channel go check him out it's just called the crockers and uh he's kind of going through some things right now in his marriage him and him and uh, jay lena have have some some things going on that that they're trying to work through and jason's trying to move up to oklahoma and build this off-grid home for them and i just you know i hope everything works out for them but i see 2020 being huge for their channel jason's channel i feel like is gonna just explode if if he goes through and builds this off-grid home it could do just like uh life uncontained their channel blew up last year wild wonderful off-grid went from zero to I don't know the hundreds of thousands of of uh, subscribers in one year so I love seeing people succeed in in their careers and their side hustles and their jobs in YouTube whatever it is uh, it's just an awesome incredible world that we live in nowadays in 2019 just just blew my mind at what could be done on social media Facebook YouTube all that stuff we were able to get our Facebook page monetized so we post a lot of the same videos over there and we make revenue from the videos on Facebook just like YouTube and it's just crazy what what's possible it's crazy what bear can accomplish as a good livestock guardian huh yeah bear you have no scars no wounds no rabies bear is okay guys he is he's just fine but I'm so excited for 2020 and I don't typically make like resolutions why are you, why are you hey. so dogs quit why are you so excited about 2020 because, because it's going to be an awesome year because 2019 was great and Whoa. 2020 is going to be even better look at that guy so i don't typically do new year's resolutions because i believe those are usually just plans that are set up to fail it's a plan to fail because it's not a lifestyle change and um so i don't do resolutions but i have goals i set goals for the year and things because i truly believe if you don't have goals if you're not working towards something you're not ever going to achieve it because you're just wandering around lost so i think it's important to write down your goals even on an annual basis or on a monthly basis or a weekly basis write down your goals and then you have a target to aim for because if you're not aiming for a target you're just shooting into the wind so I don't know we're gonna sit together we're gonna sit down as a family come up with some annual goals for 2019 we might share that in a later video i don't know but anyways houston is there anything you want to say before i wrap this video up quit rambling on a little bit no not really maybe next time we'll get to do a maybe tomorrow catch, maybe, cleaning tomorrow. Cook, huh? maybe tomorrow maybe tomorrow you think so yeah maybe All tomorrow right. we can do it. well you want to wrap this video up for us so guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.